Now let's get back to issues of flooding in the capital. The meteorological department has predicted more rains for the next two weeks. Well, already the heavy downpour a few days ago has affected lives and property. Joining us on the phone lines now uh, from the Ghana Meteorological Services, Reverend Steve Nyakote Kwao. Uh, thank you very much, sir, for your time. Great. Uh, can you confirm that indeed we're going to have more rains in the coming days? Yes, actually, um, the observation and analysis we've done so far, at least for today, uh, point to that fact. Um, you will have or you will need some amount of uh, moisture level in the country, which is very good at the moment. You need a particular wind flow, which is in place. You need a particular uh, temperature um, level that is also in place so with all these factors it's likely we'll have a prolonged um, rainfall now so what are citizens supposed to be doing uh, to avert any calamity uh, during this period we um, the advice goes to the drivers they should take the necessary precautionary measures at least if they are negotiating case, they should switch on their headlights. Because during this time, you have visibility dropping. I mean, the distance to which you can see from your standpoint is normally reduced. So they should drive very slowly and be very careful. Use their side mirrors. Um, the other point is the frictional force between the tie and the road or the surface normally reduces at set time. So if they drive very fast, that can be a problem. When you move through the, you know, the city, you find out that most of the um, electric poles, most of them are falling at, the, at an angle. You have so many of the cables, you know, lying on the ground. Uh, the UCG authorities can also uh, take care of that. Um, those who go to the shops for recreational purposes, because most of the runoff waters are emptying into the sea. The sea is very turbulent at the moment. The waves are very high. The amplitude is very high. And that could be a problem. So um, they can hold on. And then we also talk to those who go fishing because of the nature of the waves over the sea at the moment. They can also at least suspend their fishing uh, expedition for for some time. And then children who also go to school alone could be guided and regulated in and out of home. Um, road construction is another area where we have a lot of challenge. When you move through the streets of Accra, you find out that you have um, stones or gravels or sand or whatever it is you know, heat, you know, at both sides of most of the roads in Accra. These are left uh, there for some time. When it rains, we know water finds its own level. And the level will start going up. The other area is the water level we have. You know, the water table. The water table has come up. So any further fall, runs off instead of circulating into the soil. So that is another area. We have a lot of houses which have been erected in the course of um, uh, waterways. We've been talking about this for a couple of years now. We're still having a challenge with that. If the authorities will address that issue, I'm very hopeful that um, would have solved about 90% of these um, challenges we are uh, facing and now. So these are but a few areas that we need to take a look at so that um, uh, we didn't have any problems. Um, mm -hmm. Hunters must also be very careful. They should be very clear of their judgment before they shoot at any object at sight, not to mistake any human being for an antelope or something like that. Right. Uh, can you update us on what to expect tomorrow? Already there are speculations of heavy rains tomorrow. Can you confirm that? We're going to have windy conditions, at least not the type that can 
um, destroy um, property. It will be very dull. Temperatures will be down, very low temperatures. And then we're going to have, because the system is a transport of moisture from the sea onto land, we're going to have a lot of low clouds. And then the accumulation of low clouds will be dripping, you know, the droplets here and there. Between the coast of Adan and um, Accra, it will be slightly better than the western end, between central region and um, Sakradi or Hafa Sini, because the coastline extends right into the sea. So they will have poorer visibility than on the eastern coast. Meanwhile, this will be a coastal affair. As you travel few um, kilometers or meters away from the coastal area, the pattern will be different, because this is just a coastal uh, phenomena. That's not to say that there wouldn't be any break in the rain. At least before it rains, it would have used a lot of energy. So a day or two, three, we'll be having some intermittent breaks. The rains will be thrown into the atmosphere. The atmosphere will be bright a bit. And as soon as you see that the temperature begins to soar very high, one should expect an offset again of rain. So that is the season we are in now. That's the pattern, and that's what we're going to experience between now and at least to the end of this month. And very finally, are we likely to have any rains comparable to what occurred on the 3rd of June? Um, a lot of energy has been expended you know, by that downpour. Even just this afternoon, we had one. The magnitude of, the, of it, as we observed at the coast of Lome and um, Benin, is not the intensity that affected the country. This is an indication that after a series of rains, you have temperature going down, and that impedes you know, the intensity of the downpour. So we'll be having slight to moderate, but with the type that we had on the third, I would say in the next few days, no. In the next few days, no. All right, thank you. We have something, yes. All right, thank you very much. I've got to leave it here. Reverend Steve Nyakotekwa is with the Ghana Meteorological Service.